Well, I'm not sure, ma'am. Uh, we had a tornado through our house here. Okay, is your house damaged? Oh, yeah, big oh. time. Kettering is now telling up the big time damage from the now confirmed tornado late last night. Yeah, he was pretty calm there on yeah. the phone, but Alexandra Lewis joins us now live where folks are cleaning up a huge mess. Alex. Glen Mina Drive here is still an absolute mess, and the National Weather Service says we were dealing with an EF0 tornado, the smallest uh, that there is, but look, it proves that this tree right here, just how much damage even the smallest, quickest tornado can do. This is about a 30-foot tree. I'm not sure how much you can see out here tonight. And these winds snap trees in half, brought huge branches like this flying into the air, some of them even landing on top of houses, creating a whole lot of damage and uh, leaving behind some pretty big cleanup bills. John Collins. Okay. Uh, we've got structural damage. We've got trees down. We have no power. When John Collins heard the lightning fast tornado fly through town, he hunkered down with his wife. No, my okay. wife and I hit the floor, but uh, I'm worried about possible collapse and okay. uh, have okay. no power right okay. now. Are you guys going to go ahead and get out of the house for me? Uh, I'm going to try to, but our cars are trapped in the garage. And all of a sudden, there was this huge roar. It sounded sort of like a truck coming through the house. And I looked out my patio door and things were blowing everywhere. It was instantaneous. I'd say well less than a minute. It just, it came through with a giant roar and all the damage was done just that quick. The EF0 twister snapped trees, sending branches flying in its path of destruction. We've got quite extensive damage out of it. There's a tree through the roof and uh, a lot of trees and destruction around the property. Got trees down, all up and down. Boy, it really snapped them off. Gosh, took tremendous wind to do that. Today, Ron Cochran is feeling the aftermath of the storm's strong quick punch in his pockets. I just got an estimate of a couple thousand dollars to clean this mess up. Ron tells us those uh, couple thousand of dollars he's going to have to pay for out of his own pocket because in his case, that tree didn't cause any damage to his house. It's just the cleanup he has to deal with and completely all on his own. That's what his insurance company says. So uh, some pretty expensive damage here to clean up after Mother Nature. Reporting live here in Kettering tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.